Good morning. This is your media report for Thursday, February the 25th, 2016. I'm Sergeant Lori McGee, Media Relations Officer for the St. John Police Force. During the last 24 hours, police have responded to 109 calls for service. We would like to hear from anyone that has any information concerning any of our calls or investigations. We can be reached at 506 648 3333 at our email, police at stjohn.ca, or you can do it anonymously through the Provincial Crime Stoppers at 1 800 222 8477 or on their website at crimemb.ca. On Wednesday at 8.55 a.m., police arrested a 15-year-old female at the law court building for a violation of her probation. She had been reported missing the previous day by her foster parents. Her probation order stipulated she was to reside at the residence she was reported missing from. She was held for an afternoon court appearance. At 12.19 p.m., police were called to the Walmart on Faber Boulevard for a report of a shoplifter who had left the store. The accused, age 35, was located near the Reversing Falls Bridge and arrested for theft of several watches. He was later released to appear in court at a later date. At 4.50 p.m., police responded to a Cranston Avenue residence for a report of an assault. The female caller reports that she went to her son's apartment to collect some belongings, where she was met by her son's roommate. After a brief argument, he struck her several times in the face and choked her. He left the area prior to police arriving on scene. The victim was transported to the regional hospital where she was treated for facial injuries and later released. The incident remains under investigation. At 7.23 p.m. last evening, police received a call to No Frills on Faber Boulevard for a report of two shoplifters. A 27-year-old male and a 24-year-old female were arrested for theft. They were released to appear in court at a later date. And at 7.55 p.m., police observed a male walking along Bayer Drive who they were aware was a suspect in several thefts from vehicles as of late. The 28-year-old male was arrested for theft and held in custody for a court appearance. This will conclude the media report for Thursday, February the 25th. Have a good day and be safe.